Hey guys, on today's show, we're going to discuss how to send and receive text messages through your radio to other phones. Kind of cool, huh? We're going to get to it right here, right now on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. Before we get started, I wanted to quickly uh, thank my Patreon patrons uh, for your support. If you would like to join my Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash HR4NT, which stands for Ham Radio for Non-Techies. All right, on with the show. All right, guys. So like I said, today's show, I want to discuss how to send and receive texts with APRS through your radio. And, you know, this is something I just learned how to do. I thought it was kind of cool. So in a situation where maybe your cell phone is down, you know, you have a hurricane hit or some kind of disaster, cell phones are knocked out, whatever the whatever the case may be, but you got to get a message out to some friends and family that know you're okay, right? So a way to do that, you can do it through your radio. You can send them a text from your radio if you have an APRS-capable radio, and uh, they can send a text back to you from their phone back to your radio. So it's kind of cool. I wouldn't make, you know, have long conversations like this, but you can actually send some cool little uh, quick texts. If nothing else, you can send it out to your friends and family just to kind of impress them. Like, hey, look what I sent from my radio. <laughs> so once again, proves that you don't need to have the internet to do everything in life. Uh, the radio can do some really cool things. And this is a cool feature. Uh, like I said, if you have an APRS capable radio. So what I want to do is go to my uh, website or go to my desktop real quick and have a very short presentation. We're going to do a presentation first. I'm going to show you some of the websites I'm going to be talking about that help you to figure all the stuff out. Then we're going to go down to my truck and we're going to send a text message and hopefully be able to see that. So let's go to let's start with the presentation here by going to my desktop. So how to send and receive text with APRS. Well, first, I want to really discuss uh, what is APRS. For those of you who don't know, APRS is automatic packet reporting system. It allows for digital communications in a local area, as you can see from the map on the right side there. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, some other digital communications include sending GPS coordinates, like your location, where you are, if you want people to know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, weather station telemetry, uh, text messages, like we're going to show in today's video, and of course, announcements, queries, etc. Now, who can use APRS? Any licensed ham operator, technician, general, extra, doesn't matter. As long as you've got an APRS uh, capable radio, you can uh, you can use uh, uh, APRS. So moving forward, what you need? Well, you need a radio. Like I said, there are a couple radios. I'm sure there's more out there. These are the only ones that I could figure out and find from the resources that I was researching when I did this video here. So a lot of your Yesus, the FTM 400 XDR, which is what I have, the FT 3DR, which I also have, uh, the new FT 5DR, the older FT 1D and 2D. And also the Yaesu VX 8DR and 8G are also, these are all APRS capable radios you can do all this stuff with. Uh, in addition to that, your Kenwoods, you have the THD72, the D74, the D700, and the D710. So, there, like I said, there might be more radios out there that do APRS. Research it, find out if you if your radio does it. If it does, great. And, you you know, you're, you're off to the races here. So, the last part of this presentation is websites you need to know. And these are two things, APRS.FI or APRS.FI. This displays a map of APRS users, and you can search for users by call sign or to track them and see, you know, see what's going on this now. It shows you a huge map, which we're going to get to here. Uh, sign up for the free account. It sends a verification to your email. You send a little, it has a little code it's going to give you. You put it back in the verification code, and boom, you're signed up, done deal. Uh, nothing else you need to do, nothing to sell to you or anything like that. The second one here is the smsgte.org. This is where we're actually going to sign up and get your phone uh, or get your, your call sign uh, account set up with, G, with the smsgte.org thing and have everything kind of linked up so you can send and receive text messages. Uh, so this is also a free account sign up, pretty simple to do, but there's a trick to doing it, and we're going to kind of go over that a little bit. Again, links to everything we talked about in this video will be down below in the description. Just click down below. You'll see all the links to all this stuff. But yeah, APRS.FI, bookmark that, and SMSGTE.org if you are interested in sending text to and from your radio. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to pop back over to my main cam for a second while I try to reorganize. Um, going back, let's do the first, what's that first one I was talking about here? The APRS.FI. Uh, so I'll pop back over the desktop real quick. This is a live map. 
These are all people that are using APRS or some sort of a digital uh, packet service within the city of Houston alone. Some of these, anything you see here says uh, WX is a weather station, I believe. Uh, the big W in red, I think, is a wind link station that's operating. So you got all different kinds of things going on. Plus, there's people everywhere that are just moving around and and and, and traveling in their cars and sending out their uh, their APRS beacons and things like that. I don't want to get into all the aspects of APRS in this video. If you know about it, you know about it. If not, there's tons of videos out there to teach you about it. Uh, it is a pretty cool little facet of our hobby here to be able to operate uh, APRS and play with this. So this is something kind of cool you might want to check into. But this is just a resource for you. If you want to look up a particular call sign, like say you think one of your friends might be out doing something, they got APRS, you can actually go up to track the call sign and track that person uh, with however you want. It'll bring up a map and showing you where they are and so on and so forth. So it's really cool. It's got a lot of other features built into the into the website here. You can look up people that are currently moving. You have a little, like down here, stations that are currently moving. Um you have a blog, discussion groups, all, there's all kinds of stuff you can do on here. So you might want to just go around and play with this and kind of get a feel for it. Uh, it's really, really cool because you can really you can zoom in and kind of see what's going on with different people that are using APRS in the area. And you can just, you know, start using APRS. <laughs> yeah, don't know what else to say about that. Anywho, that is the APR, APRS.fi, which is a Google Map feature. The next thing I wanted to go over to is sending and receiving uh, texts. So with that, we're going to need to go to smsgte.org. And when you get to the site here, it has a whole bunch of stuff here. It shows you there's a user guide that you can go here, sending messages, aliases, shortcuts. There's all kinds of other stuff you can do on here. Compatibility, this is kind of where I got some of that list of where uh, the different compatible radios are from. So you can, uh, you can look at that and see if you have the proper radio or just refer back to this video where I showed you which radios you can use. Uh, there's tutorials on DMR. There's tutorials on certain radios on here. They have, I don't think they've really updated this in a while because there's radios out there that I know uh, that do APRS, and they're not listed here. So this hasn't been updated in, in at least in the past year, I would think. Uh, but anyway, you want to click on Login, and you want to, uh, when you go to Login here, you can either log in or you can click here to register. If you click on uh, click here to register, that's going to take you over to this page here. Now, I did not read the instructions. I did not RTFM. And I sat here, immediately saw a form, thinking, oh, I'll just fill it out and let's do this. Doesn't work that way. You need to follow what they're saying, what to do here. So the procedure is you need to send a message through the gateway, set the number for your call sign, and then set a password for your mobile device. So basically what you need to do, you need to go down and get on your radio that has APRS capability, and we're going to go and look at this uh, instructions here. This will kind of show you how to register. So go down to your radio, and you're going to, if you have APRS, you're going to send a two message to SMSGTE, all caps. And then on the message text, you're going to have the at symbol and your phone number. You're going to uh, send a message, but you'll put a message behind that phone number. So... Once that happens, that kind of gets the ball rolling. From there, you're going to go on to your phone now where you should have received that text message with whatever message you send. You can say, hello, it's me, or hello, world, whatever you want to send. Uh, send that message. When you get that message on your phone, you then go on your phone, and from that same message text down below is if you're sending a brand new text or it's replying to a text, you're going to put in pound your and my number, space add and then you put your put another space and put your phone number in there and hit send so it'll, it'll look something like well let me just, let me enlarge the screen here so you can see this so it'll look something like this pound my number add and then your phone number so once you send that you're gonna get a response back saying phone number received or phone number acknowledged or whatever phone has been added to your account blah 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 step three is going to be setting your password again you're going to use their their format pound password space set space and put in whatever password you want to use as your password for your account once that's all done okay once that's all done you can then go back over to this section and fill out your information once you do that it will set you up an account and you're ready to go that's the hardest part about this so far that you're really gonna have to deal with 
and uh, that allows you just to log in and get and get your uh, get your stuff done. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into mine and log in. All right, so that's all done. So this, I, I'm not really sure what the benefits of actually logging in does for you, but that was the main part. We just get this account set up. That way everything's linked. Your phone number's linked to your account now. Your call sign is linked to, the, to your account on here. So everything's ready to go. So at this point, all we have left to do really is to go downstairs, get onto my radio, and send a text message. So let's get downstairs and do that, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're in my car here. And I've got my uh, my radio set up here. So what I, what I want to do, you want to go to APRS, and this is on, this is on the FTM 400 XDR. So I don't know how it's going to be on other radios, but on here I will just hit the F button, and I will go over to uh, message, and I'll hit edit message. So up here at the top, I want to edit my call. So I want this to go to S M. S G T E and hit enter. Now to edit my text, I want to hit edit text and say I want to put in, um, got to put in an at symbol, then the phone number, and then space, and then we put in our text. For our message. So in this case, I'll just send over. Oh. So, hello, how are you? And if I screw up a little bit, I can always go back. And correct that. I guess not. <laughs> so there we go. So I can now, I'm sending my message to SMS GTE. Here's a fictitious phone number. I'm not giving you my personal phone number. And hello, how are you? That would be the message. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up here. And um, we'll see if it shows up on my phone. Okay, so now, if you look on my phone here, I've actually got, they send you a certain number, which I set that number up and just call it APRS so I can send and receive uh, from this number and do my thing. You'll see down here, I sent a message to myself. And there it is. Hello, how are you? KI5MPL-9. So I can now turn around and I can do from here on my phone at... KI5, well, my thing has to be capitalized. KI5 NPL-9. So I'm setting up, I'm setting up a message. Oh, let me see here. There we go. I'm setting up the message here. And I'm going to send a message back to myself saying, Fine. Thank you. I did it all in, ta in caps, whatever. So there you go. When you want to send a message back to somebody, you have to use their call sign and whatever the, the suffix is. So in my case, it's KI5MPL-9, and I hit send. So what happens is, over on the radio side, I get a message on my radio from me. So there you go. It's really super simple. It allows you to send text messages. So with that being said, guys, let's go back upstairs and wrap up this video, and I'll see you upstairs. So that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that. The one mistake I forgot in the video when I was downstairs in the truck is how to send and transmit your message. So if you look at this image up here, to send your message, once you've had the SMS GTE in there, you got your, you know, the phone number you're going to send it to and the message you've got to send it to, you hit message transmit or message TX, and that'll transmit your message and send it over to the phone that you are trying to send a message to. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that small little, small little uh, screw up on my part. But that's basically how uh, sending a text with your, uh, radio over to a phone that's how it works 
Now, that's just one of the many aspects of APRS. Like I said before, I don't want to do a long, super long video on how to do all, this, all the different aspects of APRS. But, you know, for the longest time when I had my APRS set up in my truck, if I'm driving around, it just sends out a beacon, kind of shows where I am, blah, blah, blah. I hear other people come in with their messages. You know, they have little, you can set up little custom messages when you, when people, um, when you send a message out to somebody or receive a message, somebody can have a custom message there. And I, you know, that's pretty much all I did with it. I didn't realize there was so much more you could do that would make it a lot more fun. So if you're out traveling and things like that, or you're out somewhere in the middle of nowhere, this would be a cool way to send out a message to somebody across the world or across the country or whatever. If you're going, if you're driving, do a lot of traveling. So I really think this would uh, be a cool little feature to learn and utilize. Now, like I said, you're not going to be having long text messages, conversations with people because you see how much of a pain in the butt it is just to get uh, messages to and from. So I wouldn't be sitting there texting a whole bunch of stuff. If you want to send an emer emergency text and tell somebody, hey, I'm okay, or hey, we survived the hurricane, or hey, we're, we're, everybody's fine, or if you need to call out for help, these are ways, other ways, again, a survival, a means of survival for you to get a message out and be able to talk to people. You know, I, I occasionally touch on the uh, zombie apocalypse uses of ham radio i tried to get into it too much as other channels out there that are totally dedicated to that great that's their thing but i always like to find and bring to you guys value and new things that will help out and and, and help you enhance your skills in radio so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you're new here please give me a thumbs up and give me a you know hit, click that subscribe button ring the little bell and be notified when i do new videos and, uh, you know, like I said, if you guys have videos you want me to do or something like that, you have questions about things, email me through the website, hamradiofornontechies.com. You can always reach me there. You can reach me down in the comments. Leave a comment about this. Is there some other thing at APRS you really like that, that, that I didn't cover? Um, you know, I, if you got questions, I'll try to answer them. And I do my best to give you guys accurate information, and I answer every single comment, and I also, uh, I also uh, uh, answer all my emails. So if I can help out in any way, that's my job to help you guys out and make sure you guys do your thing. And uh, until then, guys, my name is Scott. My call sign is KI5MPL. This is Ham Radio for non-techies, and we are clear.